My name is Andy Taylor-Smith. Um, my background is in fine art. I went to art college um, and from there I uh, started doing taking stills photographs uh, for advertising commissions and um, uh, fine art exhibitions. And then as a kind of natural progression I then moved into directing, director of photography um, as shooting commercials and other films and things. And then from there got my first commission um, two years ago to make a short film and I've made three other short films since then. All have been commissioned from various uh, places. So uh, DV Shorts was one from Ian Media and the Film Council, uh, Scottish Documentary Institute and Film London. The project is called Serious Swimmers um, and it's based on a Michael Faber short story of the same name um, and it's about a mother and son relationship. They've been estranged for for the last five years, um, Gail's a recovering heroin addict, and as part of the recovery process, she is she's been allowed supervised visitation rights with her son. And the film takes place um, on one of those days where she's she's allowed the supervised visits with with her son. My probably my main filmmaking influence is Michael Haneke. Um, he's somebody who's understands the complexity of the the human condition like nothing I've ever seen before and his films are so subtle and delicate and beautiful. I think the hardest thing about writing shorts are is to try and keep some kind of structure to to the story and to to make the characters complex and to make sure that their the character arc and their conflicts uh, are all intact within that short form, um, in much in a similar way as you would with a feature film, but obviously you have less time to execute it. I would say my, f my favourite short film director, um, he's made a quite an impressive uh, portfolio of short films, is um, a Swedish director called uh, Jens Jonsson. He's done some beautiful for shorts. In 10 years time, hopefully I'll still be making films and writing films and uh, involved somewhere uh, in the process. In, in an ideal world, it would be nice to um, to be making feature films and regularly making feature films. In terms of getting this far with the collaborate process, um, I was actually really surprised when uh, I got the call because I'd been kind of watching the the counter on the website, and it had, uh, I think when I submitted my script, it was at 200, 300, or something like that. And uh, by the time it closed, it was at 1500. So I thought there was absolutely no chance. Um, that uh, my script would get through, so surprised was probably the, the biggest thing I felt. I think the essence of a good collaboration is um, honesty and trust um, and really good communication um, and respecting um, the creativity of all the rest of the collaborators and, and enjoying the process as well because I think it's uh, there's not many other sort of fields in, in life where you can work with some really, really talented people.